Hello, I'm Dr. Arshnu from Dr. Arshnu's OIT Institute. In the series of the role plays, today's role play is for the doctors. And uh, this is a role play when the doctor is uh, giving uh, recommendations for the patient to see a psychologist and GP. Because the patient uh, complained of chest pain and it did not result into the heart attack. And he's suspecting that it might be the panic attack. So patient is sure that he had heart attack. Now the doctor uh, will suggest the patient certain uh, recommendations and uh, will start the talk. Before I start, um, uh, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, subscribe it right now so that you should get the latest information on uh, the updates and uh, notifications. Whenever we are uploading any new video on this. And if you like my videos, please share it with your friends and like it so that uh, other people should be benefited by this. Now, let's start with this video. So, Dr. Uh, uh, you will bring the role of the doctor always uh, in uh, the exam. And the, the interactor will be playing the role of the patient or the in, uh, attendant. Now, here you are directly talking to the patient who is 50 years old and uh, he experienced uh, severe chest pain. As the gender is not given here, you may take it in the any form like uh, male or female. And the patient believes that uh, he or she is uh, having a heart attack. Where are the results? Do not show this. Now, how you have to start the topic? You may start with the, uh, hello, uh, let it be the name of the patient, uh, Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Uh, how are you feeling now? He'll say, Doc doctor, I'm feeling a bit better now, but... Uh, uh, just do something because I'll die. You're not taking it seriously. I had severe heart attack and uh, you're just while away. Then you have to, first of all, convince a patient. Be empathetic that uh, you may use some of the phrases. Uh, Wilson, I can understand uh, how you're feeling at this time. But be relaxed. Your results do not show any signs of a heart attack. It might be panic attack. So in that case, you are not uh, in uh, the danger zone. Uh, you are safe. And uh, above all, uh, in the hospital, you are in the safe hands and the best treatment will be provided to you. But we do not uh, befool you by telling that you are suffering from heart attack because we are not finding uh, any signs of heart attack in your case. But we have to treat you and uh, for your... Uh, Better treatment, I would like to ask you a question. If you're comfortable, uh, may I proceed? The patient will say, yes, doctor, you may proceed. But uh, just treat me properly because I feel that I am uh, suffering from uh, heart attack and uh, I don't want to die. Then you have to show, uh, show Mr. Wilson. I show you that you will not die because it is not a heart attack. Be sure about this. But... As you are complaining of uh, severe chest pain, we have to rule out what was the cause for this. Then you have to ask, well, sir, what were you doing uh, before you had uh, this chest pain? The patient may say that I was uh, uh, in some stress. Uh, it might be something like, so any activity he'll tell that might be indicating towards the uh, stress. Because this panic attack, was the result of uh, some stress. It might be work-related. It might be uh, family or something. And you have to ask, uh, Wilson, do you have any type of the stress? The patient may say that, yes, there were some arguments uh, or dispute with my wife or uh, with my boss, or it might be work-related. It may be with the family or uh, any other uh, reason. Then you have to ask that, uh, Wilson, uh, are you able to sleep properly? He may say that, no, doctor, I often wake up at night and have a disturbed sleep pattern. Uh, it is important to ask about his occupation because uh, many times many problems are related to the occupation. The patient may say that uh, I am working as a supervisor. It might be uh, something related to a uh, severe burden job or stressful job. Then you have to carry on uh, the topic uh, by getting information and after giving the recommendations. 
Uh, so Wilson, um, as I've already told you that uh, we are not suspecting you to be a case of heart attack, but it is a panic attack. For that, it is important for you to first of all see a psychologist or your GP. Here, patient may get agitated. Uh, in such of topics, uh, you have to convince the patient. This is a major role of yours. So it is not uh, the major recommendations given to you, but uh, to convince the patient and uh, giving him uh, the solution for the problem. So patient may get agitated. Doctor, you are just while away. You are not treating me properly and just making fake excuses. What is the fun to see a psychologist? I have a heart attack and you're sending me to a psychologist. Then you have to patiently listen to the patient and I answer him. Wilson, I can realize how you're feeling at this time, but we have to treat you properly. As uh, I have already told you that uh, it was not a heart attack, but you had a panic attack. Because in panic attack also, we have uh, the contraction of the muscles uh, and uh, which are associated with the heart. And it may result into similar chest pain. But we should not uh, relate it with this because as we have the clear results with us and uh, as you told me that you had arguments with your boss and uh, you had uh, some stress on your mind and along with that uh, you told me that you have disturbed sleep pattern you are not able to sleep at night all these uh, reasons may have resulted into uh, this uh, panic attack and for that you need to see a psychologist who will counsel you and find out the solution and uh, according to that you should guide uh, but uh, along with this I, I have some questions for you if uh, you feel comfortable may ask patient may say yes you may ask me anything then you should say that um, uh, whatever food you take as uh, I have made some of uh, other topics also related to the lifestyle modification and here also we can relate to this patient may say that I'm taking food from outside, then you should ask about the exercise. How many hours uh, do you do exercise in a week? If the patient say no, then you have to suggest uh, the patient for uh, some exercise. It might not be sternus, but it should be mild exercise. Then uh, now, how you would uh, uh, suggest the patient or how would you give the advice to the patient? Wilson, um, uh, I've giving you a referral to a psychologist you must see him because he'll find the the uh, or rule out the cause of your problem and uh, give you the best solution because in your case i feel that counseling is required and uh, along with that as you told me that you're taking food from outside and i found that your uh, lifestyle is also faulty you're leading the sedentary lifestyle and secondly you are eating most of the food from outside thirdly you're not doing any exercise. For that, we need to bring some changes. First of all, start eating food, which is uh, either boiled or steamed. Don't eat the food which is uh, having lots of uh, fats, salt and sugars. Secondly, you should do exercise, but I won't uh, suggest you for a sternus exercise. You may start doing some exercise like... Uh, uh, going for a uh, walk or uh, doing uh, some yoga activities and uh, meditation will definitely bring good results here. So one thing the important doctors always try to use different sentences. Do not repeat the same. And uh, if you make it more interesting, it will definitely elevate your results too. It will impact on your results. As many of my doctors have got even 450 plus in speaking. This is a reason that they are getting that. Now, by, to end up the topic, you uh, should, uh, yes, it is it is to make management plan to stop the problem getting worse. Yes, Wilson, uh, as uh, I'm giving you a referral to a psychologist, he will definitely if, give you some solutions for that. But from my side, uh, so it is uh, a strong advice for you that you should not eat the wrong food that is um, full of fat, salt and sugar. Secondly, avoid uh, some uh, having some stress. As, uh, as you told me that you had the arguments with your wife or uh, with the boss. So you can say that uh, 
try to avoid such circumstances where argumentation is obvious. You may do some meditation to cool down your mind. It will definitely bring good results. And uh, the most important thing is that uh, you should keep yourself light by doing uh, some activities of your choice, maybe listening to music, doing the gardening, or some other productive activity which gives you happiness. By this, you can end up the topic by saying, uh, Wilson, uh, fine, I have given you the referral to a psychologist. Along with that, must see your GP because the GP will give you better solutions as is your GP and he must be knowing you better than me. And hope uh, this consultation with me would be fruitful for you. It will be helpful for you. And uh, I'm giving you a pamphlet which has the complete information regarding uh, modification in your lifestyle. Uh, what you do, what you should do and what not to do. And there is an emergency number written on the, the pamphlet. If you find any problem and you require assistance from hospital, you can contact us at the emergency number. And now uh, you should see your GP and uh, must see the psychologist also because the psychologist will definitely help you in this case. But as you can uh, end up the topic, I hope to see you in a good condition next time, Wilson. Thanks for visiting us. So uh, this was the end of the task and hope this task will be helpful for you. And if you like my topics, like my videos, must write me in the comments and if you want any special video to be made please write it in the comment box so that i should be able to know your uh, concerns and uh, prepare videos on uh, those topics happy learning stay connected wish you all the best for your exam by this i'm ending this uh, uh, this video hope you will like this and if you like this must like and share it with your friends Thanks for watching. Stay connected. See you with the new video very soon. Thank you.